So today we're doing a walk around video of a Saroma MK40, which is a 40 horsepower four cylinder tractor. This tractor is actually sold to a customer called Mr. Shrimpton. Hello, Mr. Shrimpton. Hi, Mr. Shrimpton. Mr. Shrimpton bought his first tractor from Saroma in 2002. And I believe that my dad and possibly my mum, Ryan's grandparents, would have delivered the tractor at the time. And he's part exchanging that for this MK40. And he has sent an email into Ben asking for a walk round video to specifically include details on how to use the position and control on the tractor for the three point linkage. And also just to double check the height as he has a height requirement for his farm for storing the tractor. So we're going to do that for you today. And I'll hand you over to my assistant here who's going to talk you through all the controls of the tractor, in particular the position control. So the highest point of the tractor is the beacon, and that is measuring... This is how you start the tractor. So you first obviously press the clutch down, turn the key, and it makes that noise. So this tractor only has position control, it does not have draft control or position sensing. So if you were to use a plough for instance, you would need to buy a plough with a depth control wheel. The other two levers are for your dual deblacks and spool valves. So you've got diff lock, this is high low box, your four main gears. Uh, throttle independent brakes. So you've got your diff lock, which locks the two rear wheels for when you're slipping. Put your clutch down, push the lever down, hold the lever down and slowly raise the clutch up with the tractor moving forwards. And then when you unstuck, then you release the lever push the clutch down again and the, the lever should pop back up and release the diff lock. And then you've got your high-low box, so there's neutral in the middle, high for just more speed and low for like mowing or anything when well, you need high revs but you don't want to go fast. Then you just got your four-speed gearbox, hand throttle here. As you can see from the thing, when the lines get wider, it means it'll be more power. So when I pull it back, you can hear it's got more revs. And then push it back. That's less. Um, you've got your forward and reverse here. Here you've got your handbrake. This is for 540 and 1000 PTO speed, but you only ever really use 540. Then down here is your four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive and you'll only ever use four-wheel drive again if you got stuck. I should mention that on this tractor the 540 speed for the PTO is at 2000 RPM on the revs. You've got your hazards. Um, if you just turn it, it gets you side lights main beam, 
and then you've got left indicator, right indicator. Go back to it. You can see from the arrow where what what you are. So that's no lights at the minute. Um, that's side lights and main beam. Uh, you've got your heat, heat and no heat. So for well, that's air conditioning and that's heat. And then that's your bell light. This is your fan speed. So with over here, there's your fan, and you can just turn it up until it starts blowing air out. That's for how cold you want it. And you've got your radio here, which you can tune. You've then got your beacon. And this is another fan. That fan there. And you've got your window wipers. Your two speeds. Light inside the cab. If you just, you just pull this down, it goes down to there, and then at the side here, pull it down again, bring it back up. So you just turn the key back the whole way. So this doesn't have a pull to stop like the no. older Sonoma tractors. 304 or older, 304, older tractors. It's just an electric stop start on the key. So it's open the cab window, you can see there's a bar there that's stopping it. If you just turn this lever, then it's not on. Let it go and it'll just stay there. So we've got your dual double acting spill valves here which will plug your hydraulic side shift layer mower into and they're operated by these two levers. So obviously the one on the right operates the red the air uh, release which is the two red caps and the one on the left operates the quick release connectors with the two blue plugs. Also around the back here, what have we got? I've got the top link pin, which you just attach with the three-point linkage. Um, you've got your PTO here, tow hitch. So you can yeah. replace it for a ball pin for a road trailer if you need to. It's also got electrics for a road trailer and a number plate. This is the hydraulic oil reservoir for the tractor. Uh, so you've got your dipstick and filler, and it takes ISO 32 hydraulic oil. Comes the standard on agricultural tyres, fitted with the rear wheel weights, and also has front weights. Ryan will demonstrate how to open the bonnet. So you just pull it aside here, and it lifts up. An isolated switch at the front here, so if you're not going to be using the tractor for any length of time, it's best just to turn the isolated switch off. Air filters at the front, which comes with a sensor, so you know it needs cleaning. Filters are very easy to get to, so you've got your fuel filter, engine oil filter. This is the electrical solenoid for the stop start that we were talking about earlier. It's a four cylinder engine, diesel, power steering reservoir. The hydraulic oil filter is a cleanable one, which is in that canister there. Dual pumps, one for your hydraulics and one for your steering. I think the last thing to do is to shut the bonnet. Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoy your new tractor, Mr Shrimpton. If you did like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.